Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So, um, I have been inactive for a while now. Um, and I just recently posted two videos this past week. Um, it is 12.05 right now. Um, Sunday, March 20th. Um, and when I tell you guys, <laughs> I am feeling rough. I've been feeling, I've been sick literally since um, like the end of January. And like, I'm t like, I don't know. So, <sighs> this, so a week ago, so last Friday, I ended up getting like growing this lump right here on my neck. So now, like, my tile was not clickbait or anything. I actually, we actually thought I could have lymphoma, which is a type of cancer. Um, and actually, we still don't know yet because um, as of right now, they did mark me uh, positive for mono. So um, as of right now, I have that, but my doctor said if this lump doesn't go down within the two weeks, so this coming week is the next, like the next week, if it doesn't go down, then he has to biopsy it. Um, to see if there's something more going on. Um, so yeah, so I, but I've been really, really sick for like a while now. And, um, I already read that mono is a sickness that like takes a whole, like a long time to like recover from. Um, I'm just hoping like these symptoms, if it just is the mono, that'll just go away and everything. Um, but we were like kind of freaking out about it, you know, like it was just, it's been nuts. It's been so crazy. Um, and then I was like really confused because obviously I share my drinks with my son and everything. I obviously kiss on him and stuff and he hasn't got it, knock on wood. So, um, I don't know if like with be like with toddlers it's different or something. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, online he says it's usually found with um, teens and young adults so I don't know um, and then Dustin said that he does usually drink out of the water fountain at work so I was like okay well then you know which I know that causes it most of the time like usually you guys see it in like schools and stuff so but it can also be caused like you know through work environments and stuff so but yeah and it hurts to swallow I've mainly been eating um, like popsicles or like um, yeah mainly popsicles and stuff um, basically the popsicles are like the icy pop things um, just so it feels good on my throat and it hurts to fucking swallow like it hurts so bad and anything else like like, and I can't say it hurt, like it just, it just, it's super uncomfortable to swallow. And, um, anything else I eat is super difficult to swallow and uncomfortable. So that's why I eat the ice pops or anything, because that's like the only thing that soothes my throat and easy to go down. Um, because literally just melts in your mouth. So, that's literally, um, what I've mainly been eating. Um, and I've just been like sick. Like it's just been so rough. Last night I got another fever. Um, and we have Abby this um, this weekend. Mono obviously isn't like um, contagious unless like, you know, she drinks my drink or um, we kiss like on the mouth, which that doesn't happen. So, um, and usually she wants sips, but I made it very clear that this weekend I can't give her any of my drinks just in case before I found out that it was mono um, yesterday. I just found out yesterday, which was Saturday, that he left, my doctor left me a voicemail that it, that my mono test came back positive and that my, if my glands don't go down this week that he would probably have to biopsy them. So, um, yeah, but, and then, and then before all that, um, I had a really bad ear infection. Um, my left ear, I've had a tube in since I was two. Um, I had tubes in both my ears, but um, this one fell out. I don't know when it fell out, but it fell out. And then this one stayed in there since I was two. And I told him about it, that they gave me permanent tubes. And then he was like, whoever did that is an idiot. 
<laughs> like my doctor has like I don't even know like he he has a way with words I guess not a way with words but like he doesn't care what he says basically so he was just saying like that is idiotic and they're stupid if they decide to put permanent tubes in a um, two-year-old and so I was like I mean hey, I was two years old I had no say so um, but then he ended up taking my tube out so that is a new experience for me um, so this tube is finally out of my ear I got that done Friday my tubes out and everything sounded so weird because so the reason why I was having problems with this ear is because my tube was actually infected and so um, that's why it was like draining so bad and like because tubes are meant to like drain your ear like from the fluids and stuff and so when that's infected like it's just it's just because it bad. so like I was it was rough so it's like so I still have to take these drops um, I just finished my uh, prescribed um, what are they called? Prescribed um, antibiotics already. Um, I finished that at 12 a.m. this morning. And then I still have to take these drops. I honestly don't know for how much longer, uh, but yeah, I still have to take these. Um, so yeah, um, obviously the two videos that I already posted have been like, well actually the one I just posted um, today, well technically yesterday, technically. Um, but that one um, was, yeah, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, because that was the weekend that we had, we last had Abby, was when I filmed that stuff. Um, and yeah, so it was just, it's just, you know, it's been something, um, just been sick, and yeah, so now. I'm hoping it clears up soon. I am hoping I get better soon. I am hoping that these go down so we don't have to biopsy them or anything. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Like, I just wanted to update you guys and like let you know what's been going on. Like, I still want to do YouTube. I still want to film and do all that. Like, honestly, I do. It's just being sick is not fun as all of you know and it's really tough to like be sick and think of something to film when you can't really go anywhere because you're sick I guess like um, we just took Abby and Bentley to the park yesterday but I didn't bring my camera and then after that we went fishing and I literally stayed in the car the whole time because I wasn't feeling good and I knew I wasn't feeling good because then when we got home I checked my temperature and I was almost at 101 so I was like yeah I knew I wasn't feeling good so, um, but Abby caught some fish. Um, I'll insert pictures at the end of the, or right here. Um, so she caught some fish. She really loved it. At first she did not want to be there. She was like, no, like I want to go home. I don't want to go fishing. And then when she started catching fish, she wanted to stay. We stayed there until like eight o'clock at night. So when I wanted to go home, Bentley wanted to go home. Bentley is now petrified of fish. And it makes me sad because like Dustin like wants, obviously wants like someone to want to go fishing with him and stuff. And Abby did, like Abby does. She just doesn't want to when she doesn't catch anything. So, but um, but yeah, so that's basically it, I guess. But um, like I said, uh, that was basically our weekend this weekend. Um, we're not doing much con considering me being sick plus um, we're tight on money right now considering Dustin just took off a week of work because he we weren't sure if it was mono or anything so um, he wanted to check to make sure that it didn't swell up even more where I couldn't breathe or anything during the night um, which is why he stayed home so like yeah it was fine why he stayed home but now we're just like money is tight now so um, he's gonna call his work tomorrow and try and get vacation time for last week so we get a check this week to pay the rest of our bills and then we'll have enough for rent on the first so it's just been stressful 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 
Um, and then her spring break is coming up and we wanted to go back to Tennessee like in my video um, last year. Was it last year? Yeah, from my video last year. But um, for some reason, Gatlinburg was like, hey, let's up in price now. Um, I'm just like, what the fuck? So, and also like, I mean, I wanted to stay, we wanted to stay there longer than we did last time. Like we only stayed there for a weekend. And this time we were trying to stay like five days, but like still like I was not expecting over $2,000 for that. So I was like, well, damn. Um, and then we looked at other places. Like we looked at South Carolina. South Carolina was also like, well, we wanted to go Myrtle Beach. Like I was like, it was perfect for five days. It was like a little over $900. And so literally everything that what everything around there that I wanted to do, we were looking at like a um, eleven, so one thousand one hundred and eighty dollars stay, not including food and gas though. So like that, like that price was with the room and um, like the attractions that I wanted to go to. So like I thought that was a pretty well planned trip, and I was really excited. And then when we went to go book it. They were all sold out, so I'm like really upset about it. And so I talked to my sister in North Carolina and we're planning on just going to stay there for like a long weekend. Um, and we'll just do some fun things over the weekend. <sighs> so I think we're just gonna do that. Um, so I think that's the plan. Um, and then maybe do a fun trip in the summertime because also uh, we got Abby um, every other week instead of every other weekend in the summertime now so I grew some balls and asked um, her mom and she said yes and I was so excited so now I'm super excited for the summertime uh, <coughs> and um, so we're gonna have her every other week so we get her for the whole week and then she her mom did say though it's also up to her like Abby um, so like if one week she didn't want to come then it's fine but um, we're hoping that she'll want to come for a week. So, cause even now she's saying that she wants to stay like longer than she is. But, um, and also when I get my taxes finally, um, a big portion of those taxes are making this house a home. Like that's ultimately the plan. Like I have so many things in my Amazon right now. It's not even funny. Like I have to order Bentley's room stuff, Abby's room stuff. Um, everything that's not in Amazon we have to go get like we have to get her a mattress is a big thing but her bed frame is on Amazon her bedding is on Amazon everything is on Amazon um, so yeah uh, and I, I feel like I'm forgetting something but um but yeah so and also I want to get her a like little pink dresser like because Bentley has like a plastic one too, so um, we have to like get her a little one too, like Bentley's um, for her closet. So, um, or I also might put it in Bentley's room because Bentley's closet is really big. So I might just do that and put both of them in there, and then obviously have hers be pink, and then her his one, and then just put her clothes in there. That way, um, I, I'll just pull them out for her every day because. Um, well, Chica doesn't, like, I mean, she can match clothes sometimes, but she's not quite there yet. So I'll just, I'll just pick out her stuff, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm really excited for the summer. Um, I'm really excited to start making this house a home and everything. I'm going to definitely show you guys like the process and everything. I run over to Lowe's when I get paid. Um, taxes and get paint for her room so Jess is going to paint her room the same color as in here and in Bentley's room because um, this is honestly the color that our landlord picked out and so um, we're going to talk to him about it um, and I think he'll be fine with it because we just found out she was also allergic to dogs and there's still dog hair like on the walls and stuff from the previous owners um, so I think he should be fine with it once we tell him that so it'll be the, the exact same color so hopefully it'll be, it will be fine um and I, we want to get her and Bentley like a TVs in their room and um for Bentley is more of like um when he falls asleep in here like the TV is usually on so I figured that 
um, in his room, it'll be easier for him, if that makes sense. Like, it will kind of be the same. And my plan is to get him to sleep in his room and look at the setup I have. I can lay in his bed with him and get him to sleep and then leave him when he's sleeping and come back in here. So that's ultimately the plan. And then the TV will just, like, like the movie will cut off or whatever. And when I know he's fully asleep, I'll turn off the TV. So I'm hoping it works out. Um, even if it takes a few weeks or something, I'm hoping to get him in his own room. Um, and then Abby, of course, if you want a TV in there. And so my plan is, I'm trying to be quiet because I don't know if she's listening. So my plan is, I have my Switch uh, that Dustin got me uh, almost two years ago. Like, it's the regular Switch. And so, for my birthday, I wanted to, I wanted to um, spoil myself and get the new Switch OLED. Like, I really wanted it. I'm like, is she right there? Um, and so, I'm gonna get that for myself, and then I'm gonna give her my other one and put a skin on it. And so, it's a really pretty unicorn skin, because she's obsessed with the unicorns, and it's like purple, it's like galaxy, or whatever. And so, Justin's gonna hook that up to her TV and um and so she can play her switch on the tv in her room or like all that like and for her birthday i'm getting her other couple things for her birthday and my ultimate plan is to like that way when she has all the stuff here she can just bring herself here and like it'll just be a lot easier knowing that we have stuff for her and like all that so that's my ultimate plan um for abby and that's pretty much it for like the house stuff or things that we want and everything um and the rest like what I'm left with I'm probably gonna put towards um bills and rent and everything because you know I like to feel secure so but yeah um that's pretty much it um my hair is a mess I'm sorry like I braided it not that long ago and I haven't brushed it today so but um, another plan that we wanted to get is Abby a bike, and um, there was something else. Oh yeah, Bentley has his little um, like recliner downstairs, and she was like really wanting one, so I'm also going to get her a recliner off Amazon. It's pink, and I'm sure she'll love it. So. And then I think we're gonna get a few things like that aren't on Amazon, like for the living room and stuff, because I know that tree needs to go down, but like the reason why we still have the tree up in there is because it's gonna be like so empty, like without it. So um, we need to get a rug for there. We need to, I want, I what my plan was to get a, um, a fireplace to go under the TV was ultimately what I wanted to do. So we'll probably look into that and stuff. Um, so, it's just gonna be a lot, I feel like. Um, but we'll get it done. Um, and all our ultimate plan also is to ask our landlord um, probably in October, November, if we could stay here another year. Um, and then next year we'll start looking into houses. So, now it'd be great if I uh, head off on YouTube like I said I was gonna do. I'm putting it in motion into motion I'll get monetized by the end of this year and if that happens then that will be great because then we'll have more income to put down on a house so that would be great um, but yeah I have hair <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm thinking I'm done with this video um, uh, pretty sure I said everything I needed to say or wanted to say um, yeah um, sorry if I, you guys think I clickbaited you, um, to be honest, I don't think I did, considering we did think, and I still, we don't know yet, technically, we still don't know, but we will know for sure, um, after this week if these go down, which they haven't gone down at all, it's still there. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but like, this isn't, this isn't part of my double chin, I promise. Like, this is literally the lymph node that's so swollen. So, like, I'm just telling you. But, um, 
But yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I just feel like shit. So I'm <laughs> just letting you guys know. I just, I don't, I don't, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try and film like this. We'll be, you guys seeing this on Monday. Um, I'm uploading it tomorrow, which is Monday. So, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'll have, I'll film for you guys, to be honest. Um, <sighs> It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just rough. So I'll think of something or I might, you know, come on here like this, like I just did today and just talk to you guys, give you guys some updates or something, let you guys know if it's going down or anything, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to head off here, but um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whenever you are watching this, I guess. Um, wonderful afternoon, you know, um, and I can see you guys in my next video. Alrighty, bye guys.